Hi, Ray here from Belize Air Gunners. Uh, I've always wanted, I've always wanted some Texans, and I finally got a chance to order one. And it so happened that I got a chance to come up here to Texas, actually in Spring, Texas, and I got a chance to meet up with Eric Henderson of Adventures of Field up in Buffalo. I just got back from there with some packages from him. Uh, so I'm about to check them out now and I wanted to share that experience with you all so I do hope you enjoy this video uh, there's a lot more to come and uh, so yeah let's let's get to these packages So as I mentioned, I finally got a chance to go to Texas and pick up my Texans. Uh, I was staying in spring and so we had to head up uh, maybe a hundred miles north. Uh, me and Eric decided we'd meet in Buffalo, Texas. It was a pretty long drive, maybe two hours. Um, we had to make a few stops along the way. But nevertheless, it was it was really scenic. I've never been in Texas before, uh, so we got to the restaurant. Uh, maybe an hour later, Eric was there already waiting for me. Oh, same time, same time. We're at eleven in Belize. Yeah, we're at yeah, so I had to run a joke and uh, tell him that I thought it was uh, Belize time. Uh, but he was a really, really cool guy, and, and it it actually really shocked me that he was still in a happy mood when we got there. After that, we got to exchange gifts. Uh, I brought a couple of stuff from Belize for him. Not that it's new. I mean, Eric has been to Belize before, but having someone bring it up for him, I hope that was a it was a good gesture for him, nevertheless. So after we exchanged gifts, we moved inside to the restaurant. It was already one, so both of us, or I should, should I say all of us, were really hungry. Again, uh, we exchanged more gifts. I got a shirt from his branding, Adventures of Field. I also got a Air Force shirt, shirt which I've always wanted, so uh, thanks again Air Force for that. And I also got a cold steel knife, which I like two things, I like guns and I also like knives, so that came in pretty pretty handy and it was really nice, it was a really nice, I'll show you it uh, furthermore in the video. So after all the formal introduction we got to eating which is another one of my favorite things to do and also Eric, uh, he's, he, he really loves good food so that's what we did. And after leaving the restaurant, we had to go back to where we came from. And I then learned that to take these guns back to Belize, I had to make a few stops at Academy and to pick up a, a hard case that I could lock. So you could see me here in the middle of the night going last minute to Academy to pick these stuff up. So apart from these, as you can see here, I got a Texan SS and a carbine, both in 457 caliber. And I also got a full size 308. I'm actually taking the SS and a 308 back for other guys uh, in Belize. And the uh, carbine or the carbine is mine. But when I got there, uh, Eric, man, he's a great guy from, like I said, from Adventures of Field. So he gifted me with a shirt from his branding, which is Adventures of Field, as you can see the logo here. And he also brought some gifts from Edwin Bompas from Air Guns of Texas. He was kind enough to send me some 308 rounds and also some 457, I think it's 256 grains and also 113s. So I want to thank Edwin also for helping us out <coughs> and besides them 
besides them, I'd like to thank Air Force for working so hard to get these guns together in time uh, for when I got up here. They also gifted me with a shirt, an Air Force shirt, legendary, and also a cold steel knife branded with their logo on it. And I have to tell you, the, the Texans, they're packaged extremely well. I was really surprised. Uh, it's sad that I won't be able to take these boxes back, back where, I, where I came from. I had to get some hard some hard cases from Academy. But yeah, they did a really good job packaging these guns. Yeah, they're well packaged. They definitely came to me in pristine condition. As you can see here, I have a SS. I also had them take the valves out from the 308 so I could take back on the airplane. As you can see here, this is the uh, TX2 valve. As you can see here, pull valve close before filling. So you can see there are no uh, return springs in this. So that's one of their uh, upgrades. I was told that it gets more power and uses less air. So we'll see how that works out when I get back home. Okay, so here are the packages all open. This is the carbine. Man, that's a really, really good gun. And it's, it's really small and compact. Exactly what I needed where I come from. Here's the 308. And here is the 457 SS. So I'll have to go over to uh, Academy and uh, pick some cases up so I could take them back home. Here are the slugs. Um, I haven't tried them as yet, but they do look really, really nice. They're all uniformed and I really think that these will perform great in a 308. So if you ever buy a 308 from the, a, a 308 Texan, you should definitely give these a try. And from what I've heard, the 308 is one of the best calibers uh, in the Texans because the velocity is so high, you get great expansion downrange and extreme accuracy. So these should perform really well in your gun. And these, I've had a chance to try them before, but I did in my uh, Samyang 909S, but I've heard they perform even better in the Texan. So I'm looking forward to giving those a try. So again, uh, Edwin uh, Bumpus from Air Guns of Texas. Again, thank you so much for all this help, man. You really, you really, really came through on this one. And also, like I said, Eric, man, thank you so much. I can't thank you enough for helping me. And the guys over at Air Force uh, Cameron, man, you really hooked me up. Eric says that I'm getting away like a bandit on this trip <laughs> because of all the gifts that you have given uh, for us to take back to Belize. So. Uh, I have to uh, keep you updated with all the kills and all the shooting and all the testing that we get done once I'm back in Belize. So again, thanks for all the help.